Hey, what's up guys? Gino here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create realistic clouds on Photoshop CS5. And this does work for any Photoshop, but today I'm going to be using uh, Photoshop CS5. Alright, so you can go ahead and open it up, and as you see right here, there's like clouds on this background. Um, no, this background did not come with the clouds already on it. I made those clouds, as you see, when I toggle the clouds off. Um, there's only like one cloud like right here and up here that was already on the background and I added these clouds right here now you can lower the opacity down to your liking of your wallpaper but I'm just gonna leave it as a hundred for right now but anyways let's get started I'm just gonna toggle the clouds off and create a new layer alright so once you have your new layer your new layer you can rename it to whatever you want um, I'll just put clouds too so once I have that you don't want to go to your brush tool right here so make sure it's highlighted and or you can just press B on your keyboard and it automatically will go to your brush tool and then you're gonna want to go to windows and go to make sure your brush preset is right there like make sure you press on the brush like the brush thing right here it should be right under on top of brush preset so now once you get here you're gonna want to go to brush tip brush tip shape and then come down here to make the size 404 and make your spacing 30 percent and your hardness 0 percent now once you did that, you're going to want to go to scattering, leave it, as it, leave it as it is, like everything zero and off, so you don't really need that really. And then you're going to want to go to scattering, and make sure your size jitter, um, excuse me, make sure your scatter is 120%, and your controls off, and your count is 10, and your count jitter is 100%, and again, make sure the controls off. And then you're going to go to texture. And make sure you have this texture selected and your scale makes it 500%. And color burn is selected as your mode and 100% depth and 0% depth jitter and controls off. And make sure you put texture each tip. Make that make sure this box is um, checked. So you just basically want to cop down, copy down these settings. And now if you don't have this little um, texture right here, it's easy to get. All you got to do is press the little button, um, side arrow right here. And go down to patterns, and then this box will pop up. And just press append. I'm not gonna do that because I already have all of my textures already. But these is like textures that are already made, like pre pre made ones. So you have more. All right. So once you did that, you're gonna have all these little um, extra presets or extra things. And then you're gonna come down here. You'll see a white one, and then you're gonna see another one right next to it. It's called clouds 128. Like it, if you hover over it, you should see it. It's like grayscale. They all name like different. They all have different names. So make sure you look for this one right here. All right. So once you did that, you're gonna want to go to transfer, and make sure your opacity jitter is 100%. Controls off, and pen pressure is on, and 0% and 0% again. All right. So then once you did that, you're basically done. You could close it out with that, and then go to your. Make sure this is selected and. Like a new, a new layer suggest, um, selected so you don't have to mess up your wallpaper by doing that. So once you did that, you can make the size 404. It's already 404 since you did it before. Alright, and then you basically you don't want to click. So you just simply just click random places that you want. I usually make a whole bunch of them like that. And if you want to reduce the size of your cloud, you could do that. And just make little ones random like everywhere like that. Alright, so once you did that... um. Like I'm just gonna copy my layer style over here because it's, it's just plain white, um, like that. To do that, just go to your color opacity and make your size white, all right, or whatever color you want. And then once you did that, you could just make the opacity down, like lower, so it could match the background, make it look a little bit more real. Or but before you do that, you could like take the eraser tool. Oops, sorry. Take the eraser tool right here and like make it whatever size you want and simply just click and erase so like make it wherever you do want it so if you don't want it on the flag or I mean the telephone pole then you can do that and like like make it look cool like just press it random places so it looks more real now once you did that then you could put the opacity down to make it look or to make it look like it matches the background a little bit more alright so that's basically it guys um oh yeah before I go if you want to make this a preset, all you do is go back to your brush um, preset thingy over here by going to window again and pressing brush. 
and then once this box once this box pops up again like and all your settings are in then go down here to this little thing right here it looks like a this is the last one next to the the resizer tool thingy and you're gonna want to press that and then save it as your preset as a brush like you can rename it to whatever you want I already did it so I'm not gonna do it and once you did that you can like come over here to your brushes whenever you want and use the one that you made I named it cloud by Gino so whenever I want to use this cloud tool thingy I could just press that and it automatically will come as you see it just popped up right there and I could just come to over here and make more clouds if I want more clouds as you see like that alright but that's basically it guys for this tutorial if you guys liked it don't forget to drop a comment and a like and until next time guys see you guys later, see you guys later. peace out